Philips Canuton or whatever you want to make sure you want to call it. I'll put an annotation here. FP16, which I ripped out of a so I didn't rip it out, but I took it out of a cinema. Now, uh, if you saw the last video, we got power to the main body going, and we all this running, but we just pulled some real some film past the sound head just to show that the sound worked because we hadn't got it running through yet. Now if you're on my Facebook group you'll have seen the sound working fully wide, fully threaded up like it is now but my YouTube channel has not and uh, some people have been asking how the sound works on this because it's not uh, on 35 and 16mm projectors it's not uh, magnetic like it is on Super 8 so first of all we're going to take a look at a little piece of film, show you how it works and then uh, we'll show you it working through here. I'm not going to show you the threading and how it threads and works here, it's attacking me. So let this door open, silly Billy. Uh, yeah, so I'm not going to show you all the threading and stuff because we're going to save that for a final video when this thing's running so I can do a review of the entire system. But for now I'll show you the head running and the sound working and explain how that all works. First of all, let's look at some film. Right, that shot looks a bit dark, but prepare some bright light. Okay, this is actually a floodlight I use for underground exploration, but it's great also for showing film. So, let's just zoom in on this piece of 16mm now. Okay, you can see here each frame of the picture. The man sitting at his desk here. And these are the sprockets. Now, on the right hand side here is the audio track. If I can see if I can zoom into that. It's trying. No, I'm not gonna do it. I'll have to take a picture, take a photograph. But that side, as seen in the picture I'm going to take show you now, is optical. It actually looks like two waveforms, I'll just do it like this, it actually looks like two waveforms running down the film and obviously that's not magnetic, that's optical and in the projector there is a light that shines through that strip and a photoreceptor for your photocell on the other side of the strip and that picks up the intensity of light coming through there and the uh, projector works out the audio from that. So let's see the head and see it threaded in there. Right the buzzing is obviously the projector and the speakers uh, but here you can see the film coming down and it goes behind this roller here and behind the sound head. Behind this unit here is a bulb which I'm going to switch on and off here. Yeah? There we go. See the bulb. Uh, which shines through this little hole back here. Shines through the film and then this head here can read it. Uh, this head is also involved as well but not entirely sure what that one is for. If you know please let me know. And then obviously it comes out the machine and wraps around and around and around. So if I'm going to do this freehand for you so I can get around the machine a bit better. But if I press uh, go to go some volume up, some of that down. If I press goes to go here. The relationship between Desert Man and his creator is a strong one. Given by a profound feeling of the greatness of nature, the sense of the moral values inspired by his religion. Now I don't know what the difference is between these two yet. Create some narration and then uh, we'll play with this and see what it does. Desert life had always been safe. In 1938, a prospectus bill changed all this. This is very interesting. But there's the uh, speaker very kindly donated by Jason. The year 1946 saw the first commercial development of Saudi Arabian Hurricanes. Since that time, thousands of men have been needed to keep them away. So there we go. Because of men have learned the necessary skills. That's the sound working on it properly. We just need to get uh, the lamp sorted in the next fortnight or so.
hopefully. The station's working on now, so that's it. People have asked me about that, and there you go, that's it. So thank you. Hey, match. Goats rising into the sky and flames burning night and day in his backyard. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>